Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Each month Stampin' Up! challenges their demonstrators to create a very simple card using just paper, ink, and stamps. This month's challenge was to create a birthday card using the simple stamping technique. I'm going to show you how to create this card here. I'll explain the products I used as we go along and you're going to get to see how I would go about mass producing these cards because I actually need a lot of birthday cards right now. So this is actually a good time for this challenge for me. I'm going to stock up. Okay, let's get started. This is this card is featuring gorgeous great cardstock. Okay, the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper and the Amazing Life stamp set. I'm going to zoom out so you can get to see some coordinating colors that we'll be stamping with. Those coordinating colors are Gorgeous Grape, let me focus that, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, and Pineapple Punch. I'll get that a little closer so you can actually read that a little better. Okay, we're going to clear some space. I'm going to put the stamp set here so you can see it. And I'm going to open up to our occasions catalog. If you would like a copy of the catalog in either PDF or printed form, please let me know. This is our 2019 occasions catalog, which is like our spring mini catalog. Okay, here's the How Sweet It Is designer series paper. You've seen other projects I've created with this if you've been watching my channel on YouTube. And here is the Amazing Life stamp set. Okay. There's so many things you can do with a stamp set like this, such as coloring, but we're going to just see how nice it is just doing it right as it is, just using different colors to stamp with. Okay, the stamps we'll be using are the happy birthday, the cake, this sentiment, life's too short to say no to cake, and this little element here. Okay, and now I've already pre-cut several of the shapes we're going to stamp. Okay, and these little shapes are in Whisper White cardstock, I use Whisper White cardstock, and they are 2.75 by, by 3.25 inches. Don't worry if you don't have time to write that down because you will get to see all of my dimensions in the description of this video. We're going to start with Gorgeous Grape. I'm going to open up the stamp pad. Okay, just easy to open and flip over. Okay, now while I'm here, I'm just going to clear some space. While I stamp, this is exactly what I do. I'm not just going to make one card for this video, I'm going to make a few because this is exactly how I would do it. You tap a couple times on your stamp, which I've already mounted onto my acrylic block, and you just simply stamp and hold for a couple seconds, okay? I like to hold my fingers on the edge, edges of the stamping block just to make sure even pressure is applied. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. I get a nice, clean, crisp image, and let's just keep on going. So. You make a lot of these. If you mess up, you turn the paper over and you just make more. I mean, do it again on the other side. No big deal. So always cut a lot of, if you're gonna make a lot of the same card, cut a lot of your Whisper White pieces that you're gonna stamp. I really recommend Whisper White. It has great ink absorption. Okay, notice the word cake is hollow. You, that means that if you have stampin' markers or colored pencils, you could always color in that word, but we don't need to. I think it looks great the way it is. And there we go. So we have done all of the gorgeous grape. And then what I do just to clean my stamp a little, I'm going to clean it better later, but I just stamp onto my, onto my grid paper just so I don't wipe it on my shirt or arm. Okay, we're done with the gorgeous grape. Okay, we're going to now go ahead and do the cake. Okay, I just used the other side of my stamping block. That's simple. I mean, I can peel this off so you can see it a little better. I'm just using the other side of my stamping block. It just makes it a lot easier for me when I get my projects ready. I have lots of stamping blocks, but sometimes it's just easier to flip it over. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm taking the Coastal Cabana. I'm opening up the stamp pad. I'm putting it down, and I'm just going to do that same technique again. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap is just my technique for making sure that I get even coverage because not all parts of the stamp pad have the same amount of ink on them. We just tend to use a certain side of the stamp pad every time. 
So like one side of my stamp pad might have more ink on it than another. Okay, let's put that off to the side. You just want to let them dry so you don't want to like pile them on top of each other. Okay, we're making all the cakes. And, you know, while you're at it, if you wanted to do the inside of the card, you know, you can also do the inside of the card. If you wanted to put some light color paper inside and put some cakes across the bottom, I think that would look nice. And what I'm just going to do just to kind of along those lines is, because while I'm at it, while you have a stamp mounted, while you're inking it up, that's when I would take my Whisper White envelopes and I would just stamp them as well. I mean, why not? We're simple stamping, so let's just simply have an assembly line. Okay, so that's the envelope. And I don't, I don't usually stamp on the front of the envelope too much because I don't want to confuse Mr. Postman. So I, just, I usually just stamp on the back of the envelopes. Okay, so let's... How many of the middle do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? I'm just going to stamp all these and then I'm done because really I'm going to use these. I'm going to probably get to the post office tomorrow and mail this. Okay, so there's our envelope. So that's done. So now we are done with Coastal Cabana. Okay, we're going to keep on simple stamping and we're going to take the next color. Let's put all these back down here again. Not trying to just touch the sides in case they're not all the way dry. Okay, we're going to open up Granny Apple Green for the happy birthday. Oh, did I forget one of the cakes? I did. I forgot one of the cakes. Okay, no big deal because you know what? My stamp's not clean and we're not going to reshoot this. We are crafters and we just keep on going. Okay, there we go. Right, so that's done. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm using Granny Apple Green because you know what? We're going to get all these cards done. Pretty awesome. All right, so let's lay these all out. <laughs> this is exactly how I would actually do it. I'm just trying to show you the real deal. All right, so I have Happy Birthday mounted. Don't worry that your stamps get stained. It's not a big deal because acrylic stamps, that's, you know, one kind of the stamps we have. It's called like photo photopolymer stamps. They just tend to get stained, and that's no big deal. Okay, I'm just going to put happy birthday at an angle. And that's the reason I do that is because I also put the pineapple punch at an angle with the little element that's going on top there. I like that. It looks crisp. I'm just tap, tap, tapping. Now, this is such juicy ink because I just got this granny apple, so it's really like hardly ever been used, and it's really juicy. But still, I tap, tap, tap because not all my stamps are as juicy. So I hope you can see that. I'm just tapping and there we go and we do have fancy stamping alignment tools as well like for example the stamparatus where you can mass produce your cards that way you know but i think if i'm just making it this i just i'm just happy used stamping blocks it's very easy okay so there we go and then it's gonna again just stamp and happy birthday onto my mat to get rid of it in fact i can even pull that off just to just to not get any ink on me. All right, so now we're done with the granny apple green. And our last bit of simple stamping will be the pineapple punch. Why did I pick these colors? Well, because I, as I was mentioning, we're using the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. So I just opened the pineapple punch. It might look orange, but it's actually in a nice, beautiful shade of yellow. I want to make a little diagonal element of pineapple punch across the card. Okay, so I'm just going to tap, tap, tap and do that. And th these are all coordinating colors with this, with the How Sweet It Is paper. And I'd like to do a little diagonal one at the bottom. Okay, so much more interesting than just using one color. But if, if all you have is black, or if all you have is one color, then use what you have and you will still have a nice birthday card. Because really, it's all about, having a homemade card is all about like the thought and people love it. Okay, so I'm just adding little elements onto these cards, diagonal. And I should have held it there, remember? I, I told you to hold it there for a few seconds. Because if you don't, you will mess it up a little bit. <laughs> but then we'll have varying degrees of, of, you know, the pineapple punch, and that's okay. All right, so there we are, and two more. Tap, tap, tap. Diagonal, diagonal. I just came up with this, and, and literally, right before this video, I made a card in like five minutes, my sample card. <laughs> 
So actually, I made I made two of them. I made them even with a different color background. But I actually liked the the um, gorgeous grape the most. So that's what we're using. Okay, so that's it. So now we have all those parts done. Now what I like to do is for my I just made a little like a little matting of gorgeous grape, and this is three inches by three and a half. So what I like to do is I like to pop up the matting the, this one with dimensionals. And sometimes you just have to be a little careful if it's not all the way dry yet. I would normally do all these parts and then later on I would, you know, pop them up with dimensionals. But right now I'm just using foam adhesives, which are dimensionals, and I'm just going to put those on the back. But I'm being careful, I'm being careful like not to get ink on the front of my card here because it's not dry and I don't want to smear it. Okay, so my recommendation is go have a cup of coffee or something, right? Because you don't want to... You want to let those dry before you start mounting them onto layers because you don't want to smear them. Okay, so there's my dimensionals. I have four dimensionals. And again, you know, just blow on it to let it dry or just let it air dry. Okay, I'm just going to keep my grubby fingers off of those and just stick, stick them all on. So what I would do next is I would mount all of these parts. So I'd have all that done. And again, I'd have a lot of birthday cards made in one day. Okay, be sure to check out my blog, thepaperchef.com, because I might do a couple things to jazz these up even a little more. But this is the simple stamping. So that's done, and now we have our card base. This is just a typical card base. You take, you take a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, cut it in half, and you end up with two cards. And each card is 5.5 by 4.25 inches, it's just your, and then you just take your piece of designer series paper, 5.25 by 4 inches and you just attach it. I mean, it's that simple. We're simple stamping. And I attach, I attach it using just any rolling adhesive you have. And this is snail. So, you know, we just attach it. A couple, I just use four, four little lines of snail. And that is it. So put a little snail. And it kind of looks like snail. You know, like when a snail is crawling it puts that goo behind it. If you've ever seen a snail. A trail of snail goo behind it. It's like mucus from a snail. It actually looks like that, but it's very sticky. Good stuff. Okay, so there you go. So anyway, you can put that on or any kind of rolling adhesive you have. So that's not, so that's not popped up with dimensionals. That's just rolling adhesive. And then you just use some rolling adhesive on there like that. So then you have your card and you're done. And then you just keep on going. We could put, again, always put like four, four little rows because really you don't want it to pop off and normally I would kind of rub over this to make sure it sticks well but I'm not rubbing over it because I don't want to, I just want to make sure you know that it's dry okay so there you have it simple stamping with by stamping up from our occasions catalog 2019 thank you for watching please feel free to comment below this video See you next time. This is The Papered Chef.